shooting a man with your last bullet, and he stands there, <laughs> unfazed. I'm going to take another stab at a calibration video. So we're going to learn this together. So stick with me. Let's do the first step. The first step is to make sure that your hand remote is functioning properly. And to do that, you ensure the receiver is off. You turn on the hand remote. And we're gonna check the buttons. You see the LED lighting up? That shows you proper button function. With that step done, I turn off the hand remote. We're going to plug in the receiver. You can tell the receiver is getting power from this light. Let's turn on the hand remote and we're going to look for numbers. We have numbers. What that shows you is the receiver and the hand remote are functioning properly. Off. Now we're going to go into a calibration menu and to do that, you have to authorize the hand remote. To authorize the hand remote, you have to hold this bottom button down. While I'm holding it, turn the hand remote on. Notice I'm still holding it. How do I know if I did that right? See that dot? That dot under the eight, that dot under the seven, that shows you that you did authorize properly. So at this point, we can start sweeping the dial to enter the submenu. Watch. The screen dimmed. We're going to enter the number four. Proceeded by the number five. Now we're going to enter into the hand remote what our welding machine shows us. We're going to pretend for the purpose of this demo, it shows us 30. Now your machine would have kicked up to the high amp number. We're going to pretend the number is 300. Complete. We'll just check it. I'll show you one more proof. We're going to turn off the hand remote. I'm going to unplug and replug the receiver. And that shows you 
that the calibration is stored to memory. That was a successful demonstration of all the steps you can take to recalibrate your remote set. I think what I'll do is I'll show you where you can find this online. Let's do that right now. That would be dkwremotes.com forward slash blog forward slash calibrate. And this video that you are watching will replace this older video. So that's it for this video. Hopefully I explained myself well enough. I believe I did. I added a few more steps in there um, because I'm still getting questions for calibration and it's only for people who've, who attempt it for the first time. As you know, once you do it successfully, it's pretty easy. So much so that this code was written in 2017 and for the sake of everyone using the hand remote using the same function as in it works the same way for everyone i'm not changing it so that is the end of the video if you still have questions don't hesitate to comment under this video you can always email me at info at dkwremotes.ca so till next time Thank you very much.